This is a brief overview of the five areas of a bishop's responsibility, with testimonies of real bishops regarding their service. You can learn more about your duties in these areas as you study the scriptures and the church handbooks and review this leadership training library. As you learn to fulfill your responsibilities and magnify your calling, your testimony will be strengthened and your joy in the Lord's service will increase. Without question, I've been called of God to be a bishop and to serve as bishop. I've been uh, set apart by the uh, power and authority of the priests that have been given the keys by my state president. I know I'm a servant of God because of those miracles that I see. The bishop is the father of the ward. He has many responsibilities, but his main purpose in all he does is to watch over and strengthen individuals and families in the gospel. Eu sou bem feliz de, de poder servir na igreja, de ter o, uma responsabilidade de cuidar, não só da minha família, mas das famílias da minha alma. The bishop is a disciple of Jesus Christ. He loves and serves those he is responsible for, in the way the Savior would. Your soul, as much as mine. Eu acho que a primeira coisa é o desejo. Desejo de ser um discípulo do Senhor, de Jesus Cristo e trabalhar, né, no sentido de ajudar as pessoas, que é a coisa mais importante que pode acontecer na vida de uma pessoa. In his service, a bishop has five areas of responsibility. He is the presiding high priest, the president of the Aaronic priesthood, and a common judge in Israel. He is responsible for welfare work in the ward and for watching over ward records finances, and the meeting house. Bishops can learn the details of their responsibilities as they study and ponder on the principles taught in the scriptures and in church handbooks one and two, and as they counsel with their stake presidents. I used to be amazed at bishops and stake presidents. I used to think of how long they used to serve, and I used to think, how on earth could you keep up that drive, that dedication for all those years. And, uh, and now I know, they love it. I don't feel that any minute that I serve is wasted. This is my testimony, that Christ lives, um, that God lives and uh, the priest that is on the earth, helping us to do this work, to perform in this ministry, with the sacred gift to have keys upon this earth to bless not only our lives, but other people's lives. And as I say, it's real, and I'm grateful for that testimony. And uh, I leave it with you in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. To review. The bishop holds priesthood keys to direct the work of the church within the ward. He ministers to ward members with love and concern, helping them become true followers of Jesus Christ. The bishop is the presiding high priest, the president of the Aaronic priesthood, and a common judge in Israel. He is responsible for welfare work in the ward and for watching over ward records, finances, and the meeting house. Detailed descriptions of the responsibilities of a bishop can be found in Church Handbooks 1 and 2. As you study the handbooks and prepare to serve, you may want to consider these questions. What does it mean to hold priesthood keys and how do I exercise them? What are the basic principles of gospel leadership? How can I learn the details of my role as bishop? <laughs>